You're called to move in the midst of society to see where there is a need and a want and offer blessing and reconciliation and a cup of cold water in the name of the Christ who called you. Don't ever forget, you represent Jesus in the world. So you must act and preach always with integrity. You are called, my brother, to reconcile powers and races of peoples. You are called to reconcile families and friends. You are called on behalf of God who called you and ordained you to offer to the people the power of God's love. This is a great moment when you are ordained to ministry. Anybody here remember? Oh, yeah. Preacher and I were talking about today how it looked like they were going to push your head down in your shoulder. Yeah. And, and my comment was, I don't remember that as much as I remember the commitment I made on my knees to God. When you receive the laying on of hands from the bishop, and seven elders. When you stand up and face the people, you will serve as their representative because all of us are ministers, ministers of the ministry to the whole people of God. The people you will serve will have special things to do, things that you're going to ask them to do and that you will help them to do. You're going to help the people make the invisible visible. Do the impossible. You are going to help them be the light of Christ in the world. And that, my brother, is scary. That's not only scary, it's enormously exciting. Can you imagine taking a congregation of halfway Christians, a congregation of folk who only know church work and not the work of the church, a congregation of folk who have never gone deeper than God loves you in their Christian walk. You are called to show them what it means to be immersed in God. You, you remember, remember that last thing that happens during this service? The empowerment. It would be impossible for any of us.